Okay, stop what you're doing. It is time for the Out of Lives podcast. Hello and welcome to the Out of Lives podcast. I'm your host, Scott Sedman, and this week I am joined by none other than Corey Spearman. Yo, yo, yo. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. How about you? No, I'm not too bad either. I'm also joined by the Scottish wonder himself, Kevin Tan. Uh, I can't do a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you even fucking try it. You can't take our freedom! <laughs> and that other mischievous voice there, from Peterborough, Ross Miller. All right, governor! <laughs> <laughs> How we doing, you alright? Touche, good sir, touche. <laughs> oh, oh, you ain't going to sound the same to me. Yep. Uh, <laughs> now that's racist. But um, let, let's get over that. Uh, so, Corey... You've been somewhere interesting this weekend. Do you want to talk about that first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I covered uh, Comic-Con uh, Friday, Saturday, and I took Sunday off to edit, but I was meant to be there. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I didn't get to meet up with anybody, unfortunately, because of work, of actually actually doing work, which is interesting. Um, got to interview Tyler James Williams from Walking Dead and Everybody Hates Chris, that's, which was that's Noah crazy, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, press is scary, so... Prepare anyone who's trying to get into this industry. It's very intimidating. <laughs> but overall, the event was crazy. Saturdays, I don't suggest anyone goes to Comic Con on a Saturday. A lot of people. Oh, it's so it's disgustingly packed. It's just all you can smell is sweat. <laughs> Have you come down with a bug yet or anything? I'm ill at the moment. Yeah, I met I met some really cool indie developers though. I got to interview some uh, guys who do, uh, did a game for Oculus Rift called VR Cart, which was really good. Um, and a couple of iOS games actually that I actually really enjoyed. But um, yeah, it was an interesting event. The cosplayers are amazing. I respect them so much. But yeah, it was good. Did you see the Batmobile? I did see the Batmobile. Got loads of photos of that. Was it pretty? Um, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Is it just a model? I saw photos of it. Is it just a model or is it actually working? As far as I'm aware, it's just a model. Oh, okay. But, I'll be honest with you, like I said, I was working, so I didn't... Re- and see, when you go to these events on your own, so I was literally there for two days on my own. Yeah. So, when you're on your own, you're sort of just like, oh, okay, it's the Batmobile. And like, they had the Metal Gear thing there as well, which was like a motorbike and a giant box that you could get photos with. When you're with people, like, oh, hold my bag, you go and do it. But when you're on your own, you're like, well, I can't really be bothered. Yeah, true. Unless we go. <laughs> you get desensitized of Comic-Con after, the, like, the fourth time. Ah. Corey, I'll come with you next year. Yeah? Yeah, I'll come. If The only, like, to be honest with you, like, I had some, the great PR guys over at uh, Comic-Con, David and Gary, they amazingly hooked me up with my press pass, but they couldn't get me two, which was really, like, hard mm-hmm. on me because usually Haley does my camera work and stuff like that. So, going on your own is interesting. It's an interesting event, but you make a lot of new friends. You just talk to everyone. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> right, so, what's everyone been playing, stroke watching this week? And we'll start with you, Ross. I've been playing uh, Master Chief Collection. Uh, we had our first game on Sunday this week, so I was playing with uh, seven or eight other duck hunters uh. Uh, through lots of different modes. It was brilliant fun. And I plan to put on some more gaming Sundays, so uh, Woohoo! Uh, to be honest with you, because I was going to be playing it, I actually started playing through the campaigns and you know, just <laughs> to pick it up again, because I don't know about you, but I keep on trying to aim down the sights in that game. Yeah. Uh, and throwing a grenade. Are you not meant to? You, you can tell who doesn't play Halo. I don't play Halo, you're not meant you, to no, Halo. You can't. Nope. It's all oh, for it. All good. I had to be honest, I bought it the day it came out. Well, that's not true, actually. Yeah. The battle wise on you can ADS the scope, can't you? BR, Sniper... Yeah, but uh-huh. it, it's different. I, I played the Halo 5 Guardians beta, and I, I missed Halo. I never played Halo when it, when it all first came out, but you know something? I've missed, I've, I've missed it. I can see why it gets a hype. It's a great game. It's a great game overall, all of them together. But uh, watching, I've been watching Wayward Pine, the first couple episodes of that. Haven't seen it yet, so don't talk about it. I won't give any spoilers, oh, but... Wayward Pines, what's that? It, it's the uh, M. Night Shyamalan one. Yeah. It's Ga- like Twin Peaks, from what I've gathered. M. Night guy, wakes, guy wakes up and uh, yeah, M. Is, Night Shyamalan. Is this the terrible director and Night Shyamalan? 
He's not a terrible I, director. He's not. He, he, I don't think he directed this, did he? He's just producing. He directed it. the first episode, as far as I ah. can see. <laughs> but um, that's it. Yeah, I've seen the first yeah. two episodes of that. A guy wakes up in a town um, and can't really get away from the town. That's in a hypnosis, so I can see that. Uh, it's nothing like that happening, is it? Yeah, there's plants. There's a plants great, trying to bad kill him. Movie. <laughs> the wind's trying to kill him. It's t- <laughs> the way- <laughs> is a great bad movie, right? You can put the happening on and just feel good about the your acting life by Mark bad. Wahlberg in that film is hor- horrendous. I love, I yeah. love Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I do, but his acting. Yeah, I love him. Bad. But Don't you slag off that man. man's mood ring? That man's mood ring is legendary. <laughs> what? <laughs> What about you, Kev? Um, I've been watching Peaky Blinders, which, if you haven't seen, it's on Netflix. Well, season one is on the UK Netflix, and both seasons are on US Netflix. So, if you can watch that, watch that. It is brilliant. Kev, can I guess what's in it? What, Peaky Blinders? Yeah. Are there gangsters in it? Do you know what? You're right. There are gangsters. Oh, in it. yeah. There's lots of gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters. <laughs> yeah, but it's like set in like the 1920s in Birmingham. Like just off the World War One, these and they're veterans from the battle, and uh, yeah, it's really good. If you've not seen it, I definitely recommend it. Watching that, um, I've been. Me- I, do you know what? I've been meaning to watch Entourage. I've been he- hearing people talk about it a lot lately, and I wanted to know if any of you guys have seen it. If it's worth watching, <laughs> no, but I really want to get into it before the movie because the yeah, movie looks quite good. What, they were talking about it, and it's like all these cameos of famous celebrities and stuff, and I actually really want to watch it now. It does looks pretty good. Yeah, but that's what I want to watch. Uh, that's what I've been playing. Uh, what have I been playing? GTA, I think. GTA 5 and Call of Duty. Just messing about on those. Oh, Advanced Warfare? Uh, no, Black Ops 2. Fuck Advanced sure. Warfare. No one, who plays Advanced Warfare? Get over yourself, Scott. I'm, I'm not gonna... getting it. I sold it for five quid. I don't like the game. But, um, <laughs> you know, Kev, Kev loves jumpy, jumpy, shooty, shooty. Jumpy, jumpy, shooty, shooty. Yeah. No way. I'd rather gouge my own eyeballs out. <laughs> All right, and and you, Corey. So you just mentioned you played VR Car, which was yeah. I got to play VR Car, uh, a game called Super Power Boy on the iOS, uh, Witcher. Before I went to Comic Con, um, which we'll get into later, I guess. I just, yeah. um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. Uh, Minecraft <laughs> streaming, unfortunately, um, and watching. I got to watch uh, the Predator fan made film called Predator Dark Ages and the trailer looks at, at really Comic-Con. good at, actually at Comic Con it'll be out soon I'm sure they said this week oh that's good then um, so any Duck Hunters that watch that hit me up we can talk about it um, that was really good I'm not actually a huge alien or Predator fan I like them but they're not like my end all and be all I like the idea but, um, of setting it in medieval times so. and it was really good I, I was very I was captivated throughout and it's not it's because like, it's a fan made film it's very like short something about I think it's about half an hour to maybe 45 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Oh, okay. okay. But um, it was really good. Really, really good. I really enjoyed that. I haven't watched anything else because Vampire Diaries is finished. Hey. Um, I haven't started the originals yet, unfortunately. Is it? But, um, is I'm it thinking about starting Death Note, uh, actually. Yeah. Because Hayley's been nagging at me to watch some anime because she says I should like it. So, But she wants me to watch it with Japanese subtitles and... Japanese I don't like subtitles. reading, so... You can read Japanese. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, English, English subtitles, up. Japanese. Sorry. <laughs> I, was say, that's impressive. I was thinking, what? Japanese. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, but she wants me to read it with subs, and I'm just like, no, I'll just listen to the bad English. I, yeah, I was going to say, the English dub's not abysmal for it. By, not by Haley's recommendation. She said it's, a, it's atrocious. Ah, it's, it's tolerable. Like, if you want to watch cartoons, just watch Scooby-Doo. Damn straight. Scooby Doo is the best. Like, if it wasn't for you meddling kids. I don't think any yeah. of us are kids, but. I'm a young yeah. adult. Well, what about you, Scott? What have you been playing and watching? Uh, what have I been watching? Fuck, I don't know. I, I actually know, I know what I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of Louis Farouk documentaries. I, I just, I love them. I love Do- Louis Farouk. He's so interesting. Uh, I watched the one on. Jimmy Savile. The stupid church people who pro. No, that one's boring. Like, the stupid church people. I can't remember what the oh, names are. I know, modern day. I know, I know I don't exactly know. what you mean. The ones who pick at the funerals yeah. and no one likes them because yeah, they're shit. It, and then they basically like... they the evangelists or something? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he basically turns around to one of them at one point and he's like, do you not feel like you're living as part of a cult? And the woman's just like, no, no, well, it's great, it's great. And it's like, you've been conditioned, love. I'm sorry. You're brainwashed. Um, but apart from that, I've been playing a little game called The Witcher 3. Now, Corey... 
You're about how much far into this game? I think I'm about seven, seven and a half hours in. All right, I'm about twelve hours in, and oh my god, I love this game so much. I, I'll be <laughs> honest with you. I, before anyone's like spoilers, I couldn't, I couldn't even spoil the game for you in seven hours. No, does it's, um, it's kind of impossible. <laughs> like the most you can, re- we can really spoil is you kill a griffin. Yeah, no, that's that's. But you see like, that? Whoa! Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> Shut up, Ross. Um, yeah, no, uh, Scott. For me, I went into this game blind, as you know. I messaged all three of you saying, "I don't know, yeah. Ross." Did I message you? Uh, Ross ain't listening. That's pretty. I am listening. I was just thinking, did he message me? I've been deliberately avoiding streams of it because I didn't want to spoil it. I've not been I'm watching videos. Like, okay. I've not. You know what I mean? So I even if you did, I definitely messaged uh, Scott and Kev saying, "Should I buy this game on Monday? The Monday the." Monday night it was coming out and Scott was like oh wait and I was like nah. and then Kev was like yeah buy it I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I only told you to wait because I didn't want you wasting your money but it sounds like you enjoyed it so it wasn't wasting your money yeah. <laughs> do you know what it's very it's very complicated oh, oh it is yeah definitely. very very complicated Kev was in the chat talking to me talking me through it like use one sword for killing this and one sword and I was like what I'm just going to kill yeah because you got a like, steel no. sword and you got and I'm like sword. what yeah <laughs> But um, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Do you know, um, and it's beautiful. I do not care what people yeah, say about this. Yeah, dan- I agree. It it's phenomenal. Are you, actually, are you actually following the story, Corey? I am. I am. But I'm not really in it for the story. Mm. I, know, I know that sounds weird, but I'm not really invested in the characters yet because I didn't play the first two. True. So I'm just like, oh, this world's beautiful. Oh, my God, I can steal everything. And that's what I do. Every house I go in, take, 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 take. I mean, that's that's pretty much me. No, no, that's what you do. Everything's lootable. You just do it. Um, yeah. For me, though, like the highlight, like I'm making my own narrative as I go along with this because I've like there's so many dialogue options you can choose, and it yeah. can lead to so many different things. It's like there was this one guy. It's just like it's not even like a, well, it's a sort of side quest, but it's nothing major, or at least I don't think it's major. Actually, no, it can't be major now. But um, something ha- like someone's house gets burnt down, and you have to go and investigate, and then. Um, rather than oh, yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. fight this guy, I was just like, man, control, you coming with me? Took him to the guy, <laughs> and it's like I thought I was doing the right thing, and then his punishment is him getting executed, and I was like, what? oh, I just oh, and that's you know what I mean. So like, the game is full of those moments, like shit. Oh, be the so guy. <laughs> uh, he, he burnt a guy's house down, like what? You have to return for your things, but then that's just like, oh no, we're just gonna kill. What? Oh, oh shit! I I didn't want him to die. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of context or stuff like that. But um, have you have you done the mission about the pan? Oh uh, yeah, wait, wait. That mission yeah. had me in stitches. That's brilliant. I, I don't know why, but I'm not no spoilers, obviously. But no, that, no, no, that, we that mission that. had me in stitches for some reason. It, it's just so out there. Like, there's a woman at this house, and he's like, "Can you find my pan?" <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but the the creature design is phenomenal. It's on it's yeah. on there with Dark Souls, like and Bloodborne level of beautiful. Like, these, yeah. Like these are things from mythology as well as what they've come up with. So it's. Really I was gonna cool. say Bloodborne was really pretty. I really enjoyed the look of Bloodborne. I didn't finish it. Didn't get even close to it. Mm. But um, but I do agree that The Witcher is something special. It's it really is, and. I like Corey. You obviously haven't played the other games, so you'd like there's not. But uh, there's this one. No. Kev, you played two, don't you? So you know who Triss is. Oh yeah, I played like the first couple of hours of. Two. Yeah. So yeah. But you met Triss, yeah, the redhead. That's where I yeah. F- finished. Yeah, yeah. Up. That's where I'm up to. Yeah. Yennefer basically goes on about um. It's like so you were cheating with that Tris Triss Merigold oh. with me, and I was like, oh shit, he's been found out by. Oh, I was like, that's cool. It's a cool callback. Yeah, but that's when they had the three questions come up, innit? Like where. You- I didn't really understand it. Obviously, I didn't know the yeah. context, but it makes sense now. Because it, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. I just love it, and it, I lo- like I love how it accessible it is. Because Corey's enjoying it, and he's not. Even, oh, I'm like, loving it. He's not do- dove into any of the law, and I've only no. played the two games. I haven't read any of the books. So I watched that ter- shit TV show. That's meant to be terrible. Um, I like the card game in it as well. Oh, Gwent is so much fun. Oh yeah, Gwent. That's what it's, it's so cool. It's like. Pokemon. Cards. Are you gonna do the money glitch? No, I don't even know. Uh, the weird, the yeah, one with the, the- shells. The one with the with the cows, and apparently you meditate, and then they respawn, and you can just end up like on top of like thousands of cows. Apparently, what? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go and investigate this. Oh. Apparently, apparently, I was watching uh, kind of funny. I'll give them their shout. Out. Um, apparently, 
they were they were covering the news and they said that um there's a glitch where you kill all these cows and it drops money and I think you get you have to change the money into what's the currency? Flog, uh, little, crowns? Crowns, crowns, that's yeah. it, yeah. So you have to get it changed into crowns. But apparently if you just keep slaughtering these cows I think it's cows. Might be something like that. Cows or something like that. And apparently if you just keep doing that they just the bodies just keep piling up. Just I can just imagine Geralt just like above all these mass cows, just dead. It's like Yeah. Um Yeah, I'm a witcher. It's cool. I love it. <laughs> uh, no, I really do love this game. It it's basically got the effect that Fallout 3 had on me where it's just like I'm gonna take my time, I'm making my own narrative. The story's there, I'm interested in the story, but I wanna go and kill this level fourteen wyvern while I'm a level four. There's something very rewarding about that game when you kill when you kill something that you're not supposed to kill. What I yeah. call I'm not supposed to kill. I'm like, ha! You were level ten. I killed you. Yeah, suck it. So good. <laughs> and then the, yeah. the thing is, the game's not overbalanced. Like, like I'm no. maybe level four. Like these things, the creatures you start fighting at the beginning of the game can still fuck you up if you. Oh careful. yeah, and I love that. I love that. It's definitely. so rewarding. Um. So yeah, we've talked about the Witcher three. Sorry. Minute. Um. But yeah, you guys should play it if you haven't. Like, don't worry about the lore and stuff because it's still a satisfying game just make sure you've got some time to put aside because that takes oh, a huge definitely. time investment it definitely come at the wrong time for me with Comic Con that's the only reason yeah. I've not got it so yeah. far I'm keeping it for a, a space when I've got more time to play it so that's why I never finished Witcher 2 it's just I need like a week off yeah, yeah. thankfully I've finished college so I have all the time in the world to do this now um, <laughs> but yeah just for context sake it took like I want speed running I want rushing and it took me 8 hours to do everything in the starting area so yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> that's just an idea and that is like the smallest part of the game as well so just a heads up if you're willing to get into it if you if you're ready to do all that stuff just it's a long call long haul long haul yeah long haul long fun haul yes it's very fun and rewarding and satisfying and we could be here all day talking about it um, so get us out of yeah it, baby so let's go on to the download the download so there's not much this week, and there's not going to be much leading up to uh, E3 other than some nice little teases. But we'll start off with some sad news. Um, Techland's new game, Hell Raid, which is basically Dead Island in the medieval ages with spells and axes and stuff. It's been put on hold, and I'm very disappointed because I was actually looking really forward to it more than I am for Dead Island 2 anyway. Um, but we posted this in the IGN UK podcast Facebook group, and... Not a lot of people seem to know about it, but now they're disappointed that it's been put on hold and they found out about it. So it's basically chivalry meets Dead Island. Basically, yeah. From what from what the shown, yeah. Okay. No, I never heard of this game before. T, you just mentioned it. Right. I, I heard of it. I tell the as well, but not what, much. Yeah, I didn't care. They didn't show a lot about it, and it wasn't really on my radar. But like, I was gonna just pick. It, it was gonna be what Dying Light was for me, like. You know, it comes out, I'll pick it up, and I'll probably enjoy it. I didn't even pick up Dying Light, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But you know what I mean? <laughs> it'd be that kind of game. It'd be that kind of game where you just pick it up, you're like, huh, that was fun. And then put it down again. It just goes. But uh, yeah. it got put on hold, and basically this just confirms that Dying Light 2 is coming out pretty soon. Because obviously they've said that the first Because of the success. It. Oh, yeah. And I'm, hap- I'm happy it was a success. More new IP being successful. Good. Good. Um, mm. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed about that, but. Uh, you guys don't really know about it, and you don't like, eh? You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, we've got. I don't, what's it? We got coming next year, Dead Island Two, haven't we? It sounds. Dead I, I suppose it's got it? different mechanics because it's all medieval and stuff. I mean, to be honest, if I had a choice out of that game you just said, what's it called? Hell. Hell Raid. Yeah, that or the Dead Island Two. I think I'd rather have Hell Raid because it's different. It's different. Dead the zombies all. are kind of getting overdone yet now, but you know, Dead Island Two sounds promising from the tech that's in it. I'm so. done with zombies, man. Move on. Nah, no, it's never going to happen. No, I love zombies. The the social consciousness. Oh, sorry, I'm about to tangent a little bit. Go, go Did you it, see? Man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you see they might be doing a Resident Evil 2 remake? No, but I'd be all I've for it. I've already done it. <laughs> no, no, there's there's no, no Resident Evil 2 remake, remake and this is the this is my favorite game of all time. It's not Yes. Not, I'm putting it there. All right, it then. is. Okay. It is my favorite game of all time. That's fair. Okay. And I can see why. If I if I get do you know, that was the first game, yeah, for me, where the two stories like it was two discs. Yeah. Sorry, I've gone off a crazy tangent. I apologize. Hey, no, this is fine. Resident Evil Two Stories. Um, <laughs> that it was the first game, yeah, where two stories told the same story but they interlinked. Yeah. Where if you took something in one, like there was the backpack and the machine gun, 
and your first playthrough, you're just like, oh, I'll take both. Forget that. You're not going to play it on the same save. And when you do it, it's like a total different game. Because you're like, oh, oh man, I've got to manage my items better because I ain't got the bag because Leon's got the bag. And, oh, that game. I could, oh. And if I get a HD remake, oh, oh yeah. Like, if it's like uh, how they did with Resident Evil. Where no, no because no, you... cause it was, cause that was a remake of the remake. Yeah, but would you, ro- would you want just an updated version of the PS1? One, oh, or no, would no, you I want, want a no, yeah, remake sorry, yeah. of it? Like, a I want a remake. full HD yeah. remake. You mean yeah. without the two hour long opening door sequences? <laughs> no, forget that. Keep them in because that gives me time to talk to the chat on Twitch. Yeah. At twitch.tv slash mcfixer. So. <sighs> <laughs> Too many doors. At least give me a variety of doors. I want a red door, I want a blue door. Kev, what do you call that game? Door simulator. Door simulator. Door simulator. Nice. Yeah, I have to admit, some of the uh, my gaming moments are really in. Um, Resident Evil 2, the first time you enter the gun shop, and yeah, you know, right at the beginning of the game, or even just being in this Raccoon City, when it's all in flames. It was so different to the first game, and... Oh, yeah, I can see that. I can see them. I, I, I'd love. I think I would actually have to say no. No more zombies. That does sound quite appealing. But it's got the nostalgia have, factor. That's a difference. It's not a new IP. It's a nostalgia factor. That's the main thing here. Have you seen the uh, PC fan made uh, HD remake thing? No, they made no. Anybody? No, I, I'm a crazy Resident Evil fan. Yeah, so, but yeah, it, that looks beautiful. So if they can take that and just and apply it. just do it properly, because it's very empty in certain ways. But, oh, yeah. Sorry, a crazy tangent, my bad. Nah, I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'd love to see that uh, the FMVs redone beautifully and just, oh, it would, would be good. Would you, and then the, it, would you still want the same, like, stupid camera angles and yes. controls? Yes, yes, yes. See, that's what's always turned me off those games, the controls no, and camera angles. That, the see, the controls are, are fine, because they, they, if they do what they did with the remake, where there was, like, you can have traditional tank controls or newer controls, which works better for people. Because they had the two different. Yeah, because they had the option. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. As long as the options but there, then I have no. Zombies are not dead anyway. Let's just keep that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next bit of news, which is sort of interesting, but I don't think anyone cares after this game came out. Uh, the Gearbox and 3D Realm Duke Nukem lawsuit has been resolved. Um, so yeah, no one really cares because it's Duke Nukem, and I think everyone who actually cared for Duke nu- Nukem kind of fell out with the franchise after forever. Um, but the, the the least the glimmer of hope is that there is a buyback clause in the settlement, so 3D Realms may be able to get back Duke Nukem. So there might be a good Duke Nukem game one day, but let's not hold out because 3D Realms didn't actually make Duke Nukem for Rever when it was meant to come out. I'm just trying to think: has Gearbox made any good games apart from Borderlands? Ah, uh, they did a good remake of Homeworld. I mean, the expansion, like not recently, they haven't. Hopefully, uh, Battleborn, is it called? I think it's Battleborn. We'll change everything. I'm trying to think mm. of Gearbox games. What the... Uh, uh, they did the Half-Life expansions for PC. Alien Colonial Marines. Oh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, keep going. Uh, I don't even know. I know they did the Homeworld remake, which was pretty good. That was good. Uh, that was I've got good. that sitting on my shelf. I haven't even touched no, it. No, they didn't do Doom, did they? Recently. Or was it Did Nukem? they do... Who did Saints Row? Uh, that's Volition. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is... Sorry, my bad. Um, I don't know, like, Gearbox are very weird, aren't they? Like, I mean, although I am excited for Battleborn, they did. They were doing the Army... No, not Army of Two, the uh, Brothers in Arms... Oh, they do the Brothers in Arms games, there you go. Yeah, I don't, it, I don't rate them either. Did you not rate them? I enjoyed the not Brothers really. in Arms games. Um, but yeah, finally, the biggest news of the week is a teaser for E3, which we'll expect more of, uh, but the new Need for Speed trailer was out, and... It oh, looks like baby. a new underground. It best be baby. I, well, did you read the game synopsis for it? The game posted on their website. I did no. not. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can get it up. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I know you've always got problems getting it up, Kev, but <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I won't get a mad that joke. But yeah, it's a, uh, well, let's just talk. Let's talk about. All right, let's have the Rana, which was the first, the the better one, the uh, Underground One on the Underground Two. Never played See, I, jumped on, I jumped on an Underground Two. 
Underground 2 was the better one, so you done well. Yeah. They merge into but one me and, for me. In my memory, they just merge into one game. So Me, me and my brother used to sit there for hours just, just customising yeah, our car. Your neon underneath your car yes, with some doors when, going through these nice tunnels. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was when neon... And that was the first game where I was just like, what, I can drive anywhere. It was, it was nice. Anything. I think that's going to be the problem for this game, though. If I'm honest with you. It's like, we're so used to open world racing games. Mm. Where it's not going to have... I know it's going to have the Need for Speed Underground feel, but... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, from that, like, the little teaser we got, it seems like they could be trying something story-related. Like, I don't yeah, know. They never do a good job with story, though, if I'm honest. Yeah, but they've had a year off now. They're, they're coming back. They can be like, look... True, true. Because, I mean, it... the, the last one that I had actually thought had a good story, sorry, Kev, um, was Most Wanted, where you had to climb the blacklist. And let's face it, that was... Wait, was it a blacklist? Yeah, it yeah, sounds like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Not the not the remake, like not the remake. Of no, no, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, and I enjoyed that. Like, I mean, it wasn't a great story, but you know what I mean. It it kept you yeah, progressing, and like, if there's something like this in Underground, like, obviously not the same thing, but yeah, I'm okay with it. It's cool. I like it. So hit me, Kev. Apparently, Need for Speed on game. They've actually changed the synopsis now. They've made it shorter to what it was. They've cut out a lot of stuff. Uh, so all right. give, told us, off. give us what you think it was. No, this is what they had before. Discover the nocturnal open world of urban culture, uh, urban culture, car culture. I don't know why they put that twice. <laughs> Driven by five unique ways to play and win in this thrilling reboot of Need for Speed. Carve your own unique path via multiple overlapping stories, gaining reputation on your journey to become the ultimate icon. Nice. And now it's. Now it's been changed to discover the nocturnal open world of urban cult. Co- Why did they put it like that? Urban culture, car culture. Weird. That is weird. Driven by five unique ways to play. Five unique ways to play. Mm. All I'm saying is this game needs a beast of a soundtrack. I'm pretty sure it will. Like, because that's if it's that's what keeps this. Yeah. By five unique ways, do you think they mean like races, drag races, marathons, uh, sprints? Maybe like unless Drifting. it's like single player. Open world. Who knows? Who knows? Why? Yeah. Oh my god, flying clouds in the new for speed game. That'd be interesting. Yeah. The one thing I don't know, did any of you guys play the crew? No. No. Okay, uh... I've got the I've got the crew and I've not finished it. But the one thing I do like about the crew is the story mode on it. Like you can just do four people in the same race. Doesn't matter who comes first, it lets you progress. Ooh. Ah, right. And I feel like that's like I don't I don't know if that interests any of you guys, but I really I me me Haley and Haley's brother played it together, and like we were racing each other still because we wanted to win. Yeah, yeah. And you like get platinum, gold, bronze, but it, whatever. It, the it beats is. you getting frustrated if you can't. Win if a you race. can't, is that yeah. well, not without being rude? Haley's not the greatest at video games. She's okay. Well, I mean, yeah. women drivers. So. <laughs> I'm really getting into that. <laughs> Not controversial. But, um, I'm kidding here. But, I'm kidding. So what we usually do is we just take each other out and make it a bit more fun. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that in a single player aspect would kind of be cool. Like in yeah. a in a narrative story, but with four people, if that makes sense. Yeah. If they could do that, I'd be so 100 percent in. Like. So here's what I'm hoping. Like I know we're not doing E3, but like it comes out. Like oh, I know they said it's a remake of Need for Speed, but like Need for Speed comes up, and then like it just fades in underneath it, where it just says Underground. Everyone would go ape shit. Like to be honest, I don't think they're gonna do that. It, it, it's just gonna be called Need for Speed in it. Yeah, and I it, think it's gonna be like a spiritual successor to Underground, where it's gonna. You know, have you want to see it there. Yeah, you it's gonna be the same like streetcars. Like you can do it, but it'll be just called Need for Speed rather than Underground Three. Oh no, it won't be called Underground 3. I think it should be called Underground, but if they keep it at Need for Speed, it's not a bad thing anyway, as long as it keeps what Underground was there. Would you mm. would you think like Need for Speed Underground Kings or you know, not 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 that, but just like something? I think it needs the Underground name to get people hyped. Because Need, Cause need yeah. for Speed, it's just like so. Is it? Well, we know to how many bad Need for Speed games there are. <laughs> Do you know? It's so. If it has underground, I feel like that's going to give it the stamp of approval. Yeah, I just hope they have like all the street cars like they did in the old days, like the Golf GTIs and yeah, 106s I, and stuff. I think they will because if it's car culture, then you know they're still. Thing is, it's not relevant. as big nowadays, is it? Car culture? When, no, when, definitely when, not. When Need Speed Underground came out, it's when Fast. I don't and know. Furious, Mod, was Mod Nats was this weekend, and that had a really big turnout. Like. No one knows what that is because none of you are car people. I'm not a car people. I just have car people friends. <laughs> you're like, you're not a car people. You've got a, <laughs> I'm, I'm you know not what? a car you've people. You've got a really good point. <laughs> I am not car people. <laughs> yeah, Scott, you've got a really good point there, though. That car, like, like anything, but like car people do, they have got a 
a certain um demeanor passion yeah passion yeah. for it so it's like yeah it's like sports like people who buy fifa buy it because they're fans of football like football. not because they're gamers yeah. Well, they are gamers, but you know what no, I mean. No, no, I get what yeah. you mean. 100%. Yeah, so the car enthusiasts will buy the Need for Speed that relates to them, which is obviously car culture, which is what they're aiming. Well, say they're aiming I don't for. Think that's the only people that buy it. No, like, not, no, I'm, I'm just not, saying not, not that market's car, there. I like looking at pretty cars, and I like making pretty cars. Yeah, I'm not into the old culture, but I just buy it. No, but I'm saying that's what I mean. Like, that does that big and like the make not have been for most wanted because no one really cares about that. But does the people who are like. Who do up their cars? It's like, oh, I can oh, do I this in a game. Saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so the people yeah. who buy one game a year, those car people will this, be buying that one game a year. Is mm. This applies to the casual gamer, the yeah. for the co- the cod, the racer. So yeah. You spoke about nostalgia earlier as well, and this has got big nostalgia for everyone. This oh, game, hundred percent. The whole time, so, if I if I got this game though, right, working in car insurance, that whole time that I was sitting there, I'd be like, that we wouldn't insure that. Nah, we wouldn't <laughs> sure. and that would just be it, it would be what work to me you know what I mean it's like nah I'm not sticking Eden on this car because it's going to be lit but it's going to get written off you know what I mean it's can't you do realise you'd have to pay insurance in games right what why what's what the guy, so the guy who turns up at my door and takes money off me he's doing it for nothing <laughs> <laughs> Forza 2 cost me a fortune <laughs> do you know how, it is, yeah. how expensive it is to insure a Bugatti <laughs> I don't yeah, even want to think about it <laughs> yeah but so yeah, that concludes the nudes this week. Nudes, yep. The nudes. We got plenty of those nudes. <laughs> uh, Ross, yo, it's time for the under the quiz. quiz. Uh, right, so usual uh, IMDb quiz rules. I'm going to name an actor out the guys that are there. Uh, can you actually have... get them right this time? What do you mean? Yeah, can you get um, Woody Harrelson and Woody Allen the crew? correct way round so Look, you yeah. don't give victories Ross, to people that Ross didn't earn them. you did a great job mate don't even worry you did a great job Cody you still owe me 20 quid hey 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 <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was getting sick of losing so cater it to me <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh, right we'll move on and I'll start the first actor is Eric Banner Scott alright then you go. yeah okay uh, Ang Lee's Hulk correct yeah. Kev. Troy. Troy? Yeah. Not correct. Ah. Oh. Is he in Troy the. Yeah, he is. Is he? Is he? Cody. No I ain't even got a clue who that is, mate. Eric Banner? Never it, ever. It, is the guy who plays Bruce Banner in Hulk? It, in Hulk, with that film I didn't watch? Uh. Yeah, just pass. Pass me, don't worry. Alright, okay, with the other three answers, we have Star Trek, Munich. What? And something in the air. Right, yeah, we would have. Got... Oh, something he's in the air, of course. Uh, is, I don't, is he in Troy, though? I don't see Yeah, he is. I th- he has in Troy, I'm sure. Yeah, he's. um, oh, What's his name? Oh, God. King Hector, I think, isn't he? Or Hector, Whoa, that, that was in the blue. Well done. Right, so are we ready for the next one? Yes. Mm-hmm. So the next one is going to be Zachary Quinto. Kev. Star Trek. The original one? Okay. Yeah. Because you called it. Cody. Heroes. Correct. Fuck you, Cory. And um, Scott. So, I'm going to go Star Trek into darkness. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Everyone got you a point You did say correct for mine, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I actually said it or not. No, I don't but. think you did. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, yeah, it was really tender. Everyone else is like, cheers. <laughs> right, we'll move on. And the next. Wait, act... what was the other one? What was the other one? What was the other one? Is no. Oh, I didn't even look that up. That's a very good point. It was margin call. Thank God, none of us got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, the next one is Carl Urban. Uh, I thought you were going to say Barrett then. <laughs> Scott. I said, oh, you know, you asked Scott. I said, it's, it's Carl, isn't it? I said, dread. Dread. Okay. Kev. Star Trek. <laughs> Kev. <laughs> Corey. I don't know who this is, but if I'm smart here, I'll go Star Trek Into Darkness. Correct. I'm assuming he's in the sequel. <laughs> yeah! Go on, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you Ross. out, Ross. I fucking yeah. figured you out. We've got Ross that one. <laughs> okay, and the next one? Lena Headley. Hedy. Sorry, Lena Hedy. 
And I'm going to go with Corey first. Star Trek Into Darkness. Sorry, mate. It's not correct. <laughs> ah! I know the name. I have no idea who she is. Kev. Star Trek. Not correct. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, I don't even know who it is. Uh, random movie, random movie, random movie. Uh, let's go with... No, she's not in Heroes. Um, that's not even a movie, that's a TV show. Uh, Limitless. Why not? Fuck it. I'm looking at the Blu-ray cover. Case. Not cover. No, is she sorry. Limitless? She's not, no. no. Who she the fuck is, is she? in Game of Thrones. She uh... is in 300... She Who's is she in, in the, the Perch. I don't ask me the character name because that will involve me having to go into it. And she's in 300 Rise of an Empire. And your face. She plays the wife, don't oh, she? Oh, she's yeah. Cersei in Game of Thrones. There you go. I know who she is now. There you go. There you go. Who's she in Rise of the Empire? All I remember from Rise of the she's, Empire is She's Ava, uh, I think his wife. Um, uh, Leonidas' his wife. All I remember is Ava Green looking hot. Or Gren or whatever you saying then. Oh, so we've seen her boobies? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Right, next. <laughs> uh, so, what's time. the scores, Corey? Uh, uh, what, what? Uh, I'm on three. I got one. Two. I'm on two. No, two, three. two, two. Three, two, two. Yeah, I'm on two. Right. Next one is Uma Furman. I'm going to go Kev first. Kill Bill. Volume. One. Okay, correct. <sighs> hey. Corey. Fuck you. Kill Bill. Yep, yeah, Volume. Two. <laughs> Sorry, that's not right. Oh, oh you do me over every time, you Scottish twat. Pulp fiction, pulp fiction, pulp fiction, pulp fiction. Correct. Yeah. Although I didn't see your name, so it doesn't count. Uh, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it counts. Just make rules up the go along. And moving on. That, that, no, that's the end of the round. Yeah, but it's a draw, I'm I'll tell you, isn't it? No, I'm on four. Yeah, I'm on four. No, Kev, no Kev's on win three. <laughs> well... I think that's Sit down, I think bitch. that should be the last IMDB quiz, considering we're running out of actors that people know. Yep. Yeah, we are. Not. I think of loads, but we've done. <laughs> yeah, so could, do let me week. do it next week. Yeah. Oh, then. Oh, then. Do it next week. Oh, yeah. I can do I'll do like people I actually know, and you might not know them. I swear to God, if you pick the cast of Vampire Diaries, I'll get stuff. Every actor's Vampire Diaries. I'm going to go watch Vampire Diaries this mm-hmm. next week. Did, just so I know did you just guess the link between all those actors that I just had there? Star Trek. No, Dread. Nope. Oh. There was no, there was uh, no link. I'm just playing with you. It was just the way I was looking up my phone. Oh, you linked Star Trek on a couple. <laughs> that was just to confuse people. I like confusing people with my Star Trek. Right then. So, moving on to the movie news. Movie news. Actually, yeah, it is all movie news for once. No. Um, so, we have two sequels that are in development before the the sequels are already out so uh mission impossible 6 is already in development which is good because mission impossible films i always like and i hope they just change the director each time because then that makes it cool because it's a different movie each time um you guys excited for mission impossible 6 how you can you be even five five's not out yet <laughs> five yes. was right fat right they have to top Tom Cruise on an air uh, on a heli they have air- to top Tom Cruise what will actually kill him on one of these movies <laughs> Probably. No, that's how no, it's going to go, no, isn't it? Let's no, face no. it. Well, he does 100%. do his own stunts, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as I'm not above three foot. Oh. oh. I see what you did there. <laughs> well, do you know what? He's probably listening to this podcast now and he's like, right, that Ross Miller's that's, a dead man. That's who we've got I'm pretty sure week. Tom Cruise don't listen to this. No, that's who we've got for the intro next week. <laughs> and the other uh, sequel in development is Now You See Me Free. Which I'm really for because I really like Now You See Me 1 and I uh, can't wait it for Now You See film, Me 2. It is a good film, but I'd rather... Yeah, I think they're getting a bit ahead of themselves. It was Now You See Me a financial success? Well, they're like, making really a big, second one, just, so... Yeah, I guess so it was. But was it big? Was the profit huge or was it just like... I, I would. I, I, I really enjoyed that movie and I, I think through word of mouth it might have been because I can... Out of my friends, I said, oh, you have to go and see this film. A lot of them did. You know that way it was a great Saturday night. Go to the pictures. Don't know too much about the movie and have a great laugh. So I, 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 I can, can confirm that. Yeah. that the budget was seventy five million. Yeah, and it made three hundred and fifty one thousand. What? What? Million? Thousand? For million? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Jesus Christ. Why are they making like, another one? Well, they? <laughs> um, the second one is called um, the Second Act, from what I can see. 
So Original. obviously the third one we called the final act, and then it makes a trilogy, which would be cool. I like it. Anything with Woody Harrelson in, it's going to be awesome. Well, so. a... Woody Harrelson. Yes, yes. Well, he's a good. He's a good director. Him. <laughs> um, the next bit of news is Bill Paxton, out, like one of my favorite actors because he's awesome, um, wants to be back in Alien Five. Yes, please. Blonde like, camp, sign yes. him up. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think it'll happen. Actually, to be fair, Blonde camp loves Alien and Aliens. So, probably isn't Bill Paxton in that? Oh, I'm thinking he's in Edge of Tomorrow. He's in Agents of Shield. He's in oh, of Dave he's in from everything. the Facebook group. Is he in that BBC? Oh yeah, he's in the BBC he's, documentary. He, yeah, he's in that Rockstar thing. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. But he's in so. But much he's stuff. good because he plays a very different character in the Alien universe. You know, from his usual. Well, wasn't he? The, he's Hudson. He's Hudson. Wasn't he the president in? Oh no, no, I'm thinking someone else. You were going to say Independence Day, weren't you? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <that's not laughs> it. No. What's, what's, the, what's the actor's name? now he plays the president. It would help. It's clue a clown. Scott's trying to give us a clue. No, I have no idea. I was just buying time. What is this, like a weird version of charades over Skype? And final last bit of news before we go on to feedback is Mad Max Fury Road, which I also saw this week and I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro, but you should go and see it because that movie needs to get made. Like, that. Like we need more Mad Max. Like, it has to happen. So everyone go and see that movie. And if you've seen it, go and see it again in IMAX and give them more money so that we get a second. And then set in a D well, box. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Oh no, that would really be cool for Mad Max. Like the amount of shit that goes on in that film yep. with flips and the splurs. Oh man, I want to go and see it in D box. But yeah, the Blu-ray will include a black and white version of it, and also a silent cut, which is interesting considering the film's really colourful and pretty. But it does have some elements of black and white in it, so I'd be kind of like. I kind of want to see it. It's not really for me. Like, if I watch a black and white film, it's got to have sound. If I watch a silent movie, it's got to have colour. Well, I, I, I don't, I'm do still both. not sure if it's a black and white and silent, or it's black and white and there's a silent version as well, which still makes no sense. Bill Pullman. I have no idea. Bill Pullman's uh, the president of Independence Day. I've been sitting uh, there, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, has any of you seen Mad Max yet? Yes. Not yet. No. no. I've seen it. I think, well, you should go and see it. I'm sitting here saying yeah, I've seen I'm it. Keep meaning to. Come on, Kev, stop waiting for a torrent to get up on Hello. the site and you go and see it. What? No. What? I'm just calling Kev out. Yeah, that's what's happening right you now. You actually picked on the wrong guy. What? Yeah. You picked on the wrong guy. Oh no, right. Kev's a filthy pirate, didn't you? No, not? Kev's my boyfriend. You don't talk to him like that. Yeah. Back off. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's cheating on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doom, Wait, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the weirdest love triangle you've ever heard in your life. Heard? What will happen on the next episode of Out of Lives? <laughs> Find out right now because, you know, that's not actually happening because you all know Kev's my boyfriend. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm a slag, okay? I'm a slag. I can't help myself, I've got an that's addiction. Not an excuse to I've got an addiction. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if this makes the final cut, Kev. No, nope, no, it's going in. It's going oh, it in. It's going, it's going in. in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh. Right. Cool. <laughs> feedback, please, Ross. Okay. So moving on to this week's feedback, uh, the first one is via Twitter. And is from a Gav Murphy. Hello, Mr. Murphy. Never heard of him. And he's you know he didn't he didn't turn up to the event. You know, I had a pretty good excuse, but still missed your man. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, he was asking out of the IGN podcast crew who would win in a fight. Hmm. See, hmm. I think Kamal has got untapped potential. Untapped. Like, <laughs> Like, he could go full-on Super Saiyan and none of us would expect it. Mm. I don't know. Richard's um, tall, so he's got the reach. I think Rory could do it. Nah. You nah. don't think? You don't think? Nah. I, 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 I always cheer for the underdog. I reckon Creeper. Creeper's my man. Creeper I love didn't Creeper, get the Jurassic Park questions right. He ain't, gonna, he ain't cutting it in a fight. I like nah. He is. He'll wait till everybody's all tackered out after fighting each other. and then To be fair, Gav would probably just run them all through. What about Tilly Tots? Sorry. <laughs> He's too refined. 
He needs his top hat and his moustache. Oh, know. but maybe Simmons has, like, because he's got kids, like, he's got parental... Do you know what? Simmons, Simmons does seem to have a bit of, like, craziness. In yeah, man, he could just... Having, call... Look, having met all of them, I'm going with Rich. I'm going to put my money on Rory. I'm going with Creeper. Underdog story. Cav. 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 Hey, Cav. Cav Murphy. Cav Murphy. Hey. So there Cav, you go I'm then. I'm going for you, mate. I'm going for you. So when we get that fatal four way um, between the IJ and guys, it'd be great. Oh, wouldn't that make Oh, that would be. That, that's what if they, they could do for the last uh, the podcast 300. No. Yeah, podcast 300. Well, just it's just a, a royal rumble between them lot. Oh, oh that'd, be that'd be brilliant. There you go. Let's tweet everyone, every listener here. Tweet at IGN UK for the podcast 300. It needs to be a royal rumble. It's gonna happen. Yeah, Are they doing it live? Saying, just say, can you get into a fist fight for your fans? Thanks. <laughs> well, it's Gav's fault. Gav, that can't. Gav... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to duck hunt. Right, moving on with regards to feedback. So this is from an Alex Wait. Uh, hi, duck hunters. Duck Hunt. Hi. Hello. Duck Hunt. Hello. First of all, Duck Hunt. First of all, great... Friend of the show, friend of the show. Okay. Friend of the show. First of all, great podcast. Always love listening to it. Question love for you. you. We love you. After spending today watching MCU films in the lead up to seeing Age of Ultron, I was wondering if you were all joining up in a lead to create an Avengers style team, what would each of your powers be? And more interestingly, what would your weaknesses be? I.e. Iron Man has his ego. Hulk has the fact that he's a Hulk. How about you? Love the podcast. You guys do great work. Alex. So we've had no prep for this. No, I'm not, I'm not uh, giving you prep anymore for the feedback because I want it oh, fuck straight you. off the cuff. Um, or log well, in the email yourself and check it. <laughs> I want to shoot energy blast from a little hand. That's what I'd have. Energy blast from a little hand, it'd be awesome. I would go invisible, and my weakness would be macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> You're from macaroon, and I suddenly appear again. I, 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 I would be an alcoholic. I'll be an alcoholic. There you go, there's my weakness. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Corey's ego would be Corey's weakness. I was going to say, I'm not going to. I know, I know that's bad, but <laughs> yeah, my ego would definitely be my weakness, 100%. I'd be like, you're all fine, stupid, sort it out, lads. I would have extremely loud shouting powers as in a oh, shout I know and what it, it blows be. people away. And um, I don't know. Uh, red so, color. I, I, would... I can always already beat Ross, I just get some earplugs. Oh! Uh... That's what we do now, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> and mine would be uh, promoting links. I just got up to enemies and be like, "Hey, check out my YouTube. Hey, check out my Twitch. Hey, check out." <laughs> there you go, Alex. What was yours? Let us know. Yeah, right, Alex, you that. haven't said yours. We want to know what yours is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll move on to a topless Tina. Oh, so fuck. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Holy amigos. I was recently in holiday in sunny Mallorca and came up with a question for you guys. If you find yourself shipwrecked, naked and alone on a desert island that mysteriously had power, what console and game would you take there with you? This is the only game you'll ever play for the rest of your miserable existence on this island. Do we it have the on... internet? No. It can be no. on the system, but if you do not but you do not have Wi Fi, so keep that in mind. So what? Um, what? So I don't take an Xbox One because the piece of crap's awful without it. Isn't it? Yeah, it's bricks, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much pointless. Um, we just get power so I'd, go, I'd, 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 I'd go with my P- I'd go with a PS4 and Witcher Three <laughs> <laughs> because the Xbox One won't work without the Day One update. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> that's really logical thinking, Scott. I've got a sort of wee mini applause. Um, right. I'll do um, Xbox and Minecraft. Because you can just... Oh, procedurally oh. generated. Yeah. Every game's different, but surprisingly same. What? I, I was just thinking once it's over, I'd just off myself with the uh, PS4 cards. Just... <laughs> just hang you know. yourself off a palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> hang on a minute, aren't they wireless? <laughs> Are you a bit Wait, what? <laughs> no, you still have to plug it into a mains. You st- still- I would go... Yeah. I just got an image of Scott dangling from a tree oh. from a PS4 crew. <laughs> 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 what would Sony do? 
Wait, Ross, in the email, did he mention that there's the TV? <laughs> oh, shit. We ain't got TV. <laughs> it, Handheld. Oh, I know. I've it got doesn't put you in to see for the sake that there is a TV. <laughs> go on then, Carl. I think I would go GameCube. Ooh. Resident Evil 4. Ooh. Fair. I tell you, and only because that game's got a lot of replayability because so you can get the, un- the yeah loads of stuff. I'm How long do you think it would yeah. take me to mine out the complete bottom of the Minecraft world and find every single diamond? You couldn't. Impossible. Well, that's my life. Sorted. You would die, but you, you'd be dire before not, it happens. Not on a console, in because it's, it's still limited on a console. Especially three sixty. Oh, okay. Oh, three sixty is done. No, yeah. three sixty Xbox One. Whoever's got oh, a three sixty, on whoever I don't know why he'd even bother to be honest with you. If you've got a three sixty. Game over. Right. Um, for me, <laughs> uh, I think I would go for a Windows 95 PC with Minesweeper. <laughs> Can't get tired of that. <laughs> uh, Did you just say PC? Yeah. He's, Windows 95. Did he, say, did he say console in the fucking email? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Console, bitch. And I'll take a GameCube because it's got a handle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the deal breaker it's got a handle go on you know, you know, what, that, you know what that is yeah we don't know the reason why I took a, a, a blooming PC because no, it comes with right a, right yeah. yeah. a monster it comes with a, 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 something actually used to watch it on unlike your consoles no no it doesn't you're cheating it's not no a PC a PC and a monitor are a different thing alright fair enough not okay right um, yeah simmer down bitch <laughs> you got served son <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> right, right. Um, I'm not answering that question. I was going to move on to say uh, I'm going to get back to sunbathing and daydreaming about Scott and his tiny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. I have a bikini. Apparently so. Topless Tina. Oh, well, nice. Dave, thanks. I love you so much. Dave. <laughs> Can't wait to have you on the show and then immediately call the police afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I was just mind raped. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, potentially. <clears throat> right, anything else, Ross? One more. One more. Uh, this yes. question is from uh, Dave Wyatt. So. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! Why? <laughs> what about? We haven't had one from him yet. Shit! Had... Yeah. Oh. oh, right, no, we haven't. No. Right, uh, yo, what's up, home slices? I've just been playing <laughs> some home slices. <laughs> I've just been playing Assassin's Creed Unity and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. We all know the game is being infamous for a bit like Scott, a broken buggy mess. But with the patches, <laughs> it's actually a great game, even with the lack of pirates and dinosaurs. So my question then is this, what game has a bad reputation or is criminally underrated but is actually a diamond in the rough? Hmm, and I'm uh... looking forward to listening to the next episode whilst I have a wank in the bath. Fucking oh soak soak sorry soak. <laughs> I won't be surprised if you said that. So the question is, what game's buggy, but it's actually pretty good? Well, no, it's just like one that's underrated. Yeah, yeah. You all spoke at the same time. I didn't hear any of you. One that's been given a bad critical thing, but oh, it's okay, actually pretty cool. good. So uh, I don't know if it was reviewed bad, but like it's buggy and it kind of is a bit janky. But Deadly Premonition. It's ha- it has to be one up there. Deadly Premonition's a great game. It's like Twin Peaks, the video game, basically. Actually, it basically is Twin Peaks, the video game. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right. Kev. Um, one that I don't. Again, I don't know what the review was for it, but it was on PS One and it was called Vigilante Eight. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. A, yeah, I love that game. If you've not played that, I recommend. I think actually it's on Xbox Three Sixty. It was had a HD remake. So yeah, that's a good one. Cool, cool. Corey? I'll be honest with you, I can't think of anything. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, Let, come back to me, say something, Ross, and then I might have something. Um, for me, listen, I can't, actually, he's got a really good show, Assassin's Creed Unity. I thought Unity was fine, but you know I like Assassin's Creed, so I'm going to say that. Um, there's nothing I can say was a total buggy mess. I liked um, the... Oh, online zombie survival. PC. Uh, uh, oh, Daisy. Daisy, and it was a horrible, buggy, oh, beta mess. That's a really good point. Yeah, but I really, really enjoyed it because although it was an early release, it's a sort of perfect example of early, of early releases. 
yeah. because of the random dogs that bark in it that you can hear. <laughs> uh, um, I apologise. <laughs> no, it's alright. Uh, <laughs> no, just like like you, as things get added to the army engine, you you know you you've seen it, you've seen the differences in the world, and it was a bit buggy, yeah. but you didn't care because you knew that what you were buying was a buggy mess, and that's why you were doing yeah. it. And I, I sort of really enjoyed progressing through all the stages of releases and then when it actually got released I didn't play it <laughs> what I, I didn't know you had Daisy well, I've got Daisy yeah oh we should play sometime definitely you're not on my steam oh I'll tell you yeah. sorry just to talk about Daisy and it's something I've mentioned this before why they do not use the audio system in Daisy to communicate in any other game I do not know if you are in shoutable distance of someone, they can hear you. If you move it's out brilliant. of that distance, they can no longer hear you. Why do they not do that in more games? Yeah, I want that to is know. 100%. Cool. Yeah. Yo, what? We're playing that. Yeah. That's 100% getting streamed. 100%. Good for me. Anyway. <laughs> Won't DZ meant to be coming to consoles at some point? It is. P- it is coming to yeah, consoles at some point. Yeah, uh, the initial Xbox, said, They've said Xbox as well. Yeah, they did. They said PS4, first of all, and then he backtracked and said, yeah. ooh, and possibly Xbox One as well. So um, they obviously right. got a wee I'm phone actually, call. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually looking forward to H1Z1 as well. I was going to say, wouldn't it be well, a competitor? Well, that's not... Um, that's not just Sony anymore, though, isn't it? No, that no, can end up on saying. Xbox, yeah. Is that going that's to Xbox I'm looking well? forward to it, to yeah. Xbox One. No, yeah. it could do, it could, could do. do. They said it will. They already oh, said, they it, already it, said it will. I'm pretty sure in a tweet he said, yeah, that means I can't. I look forward to bringing H1Z1 to Xbox One. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm sure we mentioned something about it. Yeah, we, we, uh, we broke the news on this very podcast. Kakatu or whatever. Yeah, but I, don't, I can't remember if he said he was coming or he just can't wait to work on Xbox One in the future. Because to be fair, I'd much rather have DC Universe online on the Xbox rather than. No, I really destroyed that game. Oh, all right, fair enough. I've not. I've, I, well, I've dabbled in it, but I actually I made a burn. I wrote a character before Hawkeye was cool. So I think it'd be cool to have a big open world zombie game on Xbox One. Okay. Well, to be yeah. fair, in de- uh, Undead La- Undead. Undead Labs next game are like meant to be like that anyway. The guys who made State of Decay. Like their next game's meant to be a massive co op multiplayer Open World. Open world zombie game, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so John John Smedley tweeted, Can't wait to make Xbox One games. A fan tweeted him, he ain't getting a shout because I don't know him. Um <laughs> uh, does that mean it's H uh, one Z one's coming to Xbox One and he replied yes. Oh, ah, right, cool. Nice. There you go then. Sir I think that wraps us up for this week. Um, cool. Do we have anything to plug? Well, no, you do, Corey, so I'll leave you to last. <laughs> Kev? Um, just my tweet. Follow me uh, at Don't Shoot Tony. Ross? Um, so you can follow me on Twitter at RossM84. Um, and I'm going to be playing someone at NHL 15 in a few weeks. On Is his that YouTube what got channel. confirmed? Was it NHL? Yes, yeah, so we asked the fans what they wanted us to play, and the next series of Ross v. Corey is on NHL 15. So yeah, you'll yeah. look to the group <laughs> to see the coming details of when we're going to play that. And another poorly photoshopped picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. Corey? Uh, yeah, uh, I did the interview, like I said, with Tyler James Williams, um from Walking Dead and everybody hates Chris um, for me this was a big deal I know I do plug a lot but um, that yeah, interview no, it's a great me, interview that interview for me was a really big turning point in my I suppose career because it's someone famous and if guys can check it out like it and just support it I'd really appreciate it oh, you're not going to plug your Twitter no that's what I say that is, that's so important I'd rather just yeah alright then fair enough Okay, um, so just follow me on Twitter at Scott Sedman 94 I had to think about that, <laughs> even though I keep looking at it every week. Uh, also follow the Out of Lives podcast on Twitter, Ross. Definitely. Yeah, so it's what is it? Out of Life at Out of Lives pod, and no matter if you're following that, if you put hashtag Duckhunt in, it will retweet it. Be sensitive yeah. about what you retweet. Or what you tweet? <laughs> Did you see some of the things that? Got yeah, retweeted? I've seen some of the things that have been retweeted. So <laughs> what? I I've missed this. I don't know if you got to check it out. Lots of stuff about toast. Don't understand it. <laughs> um, but, okay. Yeah. Um, also, you can email the uh, Out of Lives crew at Out of Lives Podcast at Gmail dot com. Thank you, Ross. Um, and that wraps up for this week. So thank you all for joining us. Um, sorry we didn't have much news to talk about, but you, you, we made up for it with banter. So anyway, goodbye and duck on. And duck on. Duck on. Duck on. Duck on.